Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Woodward Buddhist Temple's virtual Dharma service. We will begin the service with the chanting of the Vandana and Tisarana. Namo tassa bhagavato arahato sammansambhudasa homage to him the exalted one, the enlightened one, the supremely awakened one, Buddham Saranam Gachami Namam Saranam Gachami Sangam Saranam Gachami I go to the Buddha for guidance I go to the Dharma for guidance. I go to the Sangha for guidance. Namo Abhidavus, Namandavus, Namandavus, Namandavus. Namandao, 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 Namandao. Your face shines in great splendor, boundless wondrous dignity, such the greatness of your light, beyond all comparison, brightness of the sun and moon, and the shining money jewels when compared to your brilliance seem to us like blackest ink Tatha Gata's countenance transcends all comparison the great voice of awakening resounds through the ten quarters. Your precepts learning effort, meditation wisdom are virtues beyond all compare. Ultimate, supreme, and rare. Your deep meditation has fathomed all the Dharma sea to the limits and the depths of all things the Buddhas teach. Ignorance, anger, and greed, the world honored one has none, like a lion among men, measureless your great virtue, 
Vast are your great virtuous deeds, wisdom deep and so sublime, your radiant luminous light shakes all the world's foundations. When I become a Buddha, equal to the Dharma King, I will transcend birth and death, liberating all beings, my giving disciplined mind, precepts, patience, and effort, meditation, and wisdom shall be supreme, unsurpassed. I will attain Buddhahood everywhere fulfill my vow, bringing to all those in fear great peace and tranquility. Though there are myriad Buddhas beyond measure, beyond count, and great sages numberless, like the grains of Yanji sands, I will honor each of them, equally accepting none, even more importantly, I will seek the supreme way, even though all but the worlds are countless as Ganges sands, even though all lands and realms are boundless without measure, Yet my light shall reach them all and illumine every place. Such shall be my perfect work, such my power infinite. When I attain Buddhahood, my land will be first and best, place of practice transcendent, its people sublime and rare, land equal to nirvana, beyond all comparison, with pity for everyone, I will carry all across all who come from ten quarters to be born into my land to attain pure joyful mind peace and great tranquility be my witness buddha please confirm my sincerity now that i have made my vows i will strive to fulfill them Buddhas of the Ten Quarters, with your wisdom unhindered, may all of these honored ones know my deepest intention, even though my body must bear great pain and suffering 
I will persevere and strive patiently without regret. Let's put our hands together in reverence as we recite the creed number two. Casting off the self-power mind of the varied practices and disciplines, we entrust ourselves single-mindedly to Amida Tathagata to save us in regard to the one great matter of birth. With one thought moment of entrusting, we know that we are saved and that our birth is settled. After this, we say the name in joy and gratitude, repaying the Buddha's graciousness. We acknowledge gratefully that we are able to hear and understand this teaching because of the benevolence of our master having appeared in this world and of the successes in the transmission, the good teachers whose words were not shallow. Beyond this, we will observe the established rules of conduct throughout our lives. Namo Ami Dabutsu. Good morning. Please join me by putting your hands together in Gasho. The gifts of gratitude. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos into, into order, confusion to clarity. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. This year has been a very chaotic one and difficult for many people because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We hear or read about more unemployed people, more who may lose their rented apartment, more receiving food to feed their children, and so forth. However, even under these circumstances, there are a lot of positive happenings that we can be very grateful for. First, the first responders against the COVID-19 pandemic are the doctors and nurses who treat these patients. They are heroes. They could be sacrificing their health and lives to treat these patients, and some have contracted it and died. We also have police and fire personnel who are in the same situation. 
We have many heroes who serve us so we can live our lives as safely as possible. They are our postal workers, those who work in com commercial organizations such as grocery stores, pharmaceutical stores, those who clean these places, the garbage truck drivers, and others who make a positive impact on our lives. I am grateful for their continued support. In previous Dharma talks, I spoke about my very deep gratitude to the Japanese Americans who volunteered their military services to protect all United States citizens during World War II. Some of these soldiers volunteered from the barbed wire internment camps or who had parents who were taken there. And they proved their loyalty as United States citizens. The life, the opportunities I have in my life is because of them. I am very happy that the Postal Service is finally recognizing the 33 members of the 100th Battalion, 402nd Regimental Combat Team, the MIS or the Military Intelligence Service, and other units. There is an excellent article and picture of the forever stamp in today's Hawaii Herald. The stamp is for a 2021 release, and it has a photo of Shiroku Whitney Yamamoto. The cover says, and I quote, USPS Go For Broke Postal Stamp 2021 release. The story and image of Mr. Yamamoto represents the courage and humility of World War II Nisei veterans. The stamp is based on a 1944 photo taken of U.S. Army Private First Class Yamamoto in Kamget Deer, standing at the railroad station in Tout de l'Escarine, a village in southeastern France. He was from Hawaii and was born on Hawaii Island. Please read this excellent story written by Greg Kakisako. Mr. Yamamoto volunteered at the United States Army Museum of Hawaii, Fort DeRussi, as a greeter and docent. He was named the Volunteer of the Year in 1995, and that award was named after Yamamoto in honor of his 30 years of service. He passed away in 20. 18. In my personal life, I am grateful to the many people who support and guide me every day. My husband and children are always there for me. Ron kiddingly says to friends that he is second to the monarch butterflies since I always check on them and clean their homes or their cages or containers and give them the crown flower plant leaves if the caterpillars ate all of them the previous night. If they still have food, I'll wait until after breakfast. As I was working on holiday cards we sent to friends and family in Japan and the United States, Ron ordered takeout dinner so I could continue working to finish what I was doing. Our son Ryan would help me with questions I have about using websites or programs on the computer and my phone. Whenever we went on trips, he would come to put the mail in the house and water the plants. If he was going to Costco, he would call and ask if we needed anything. In LA, Suzanne and Sandra would drive us to visit relatives or go to certain stores to purchase things that we cannot get here in Hawaii. We also were taken to interesting and educational museums, such as the LA Holocaust Museum, the Santa Monica Pier, the Huntington Library Museum and Botanical Garden, the La Brea Tar Museum and the Pitts and Museum, and to amusement parks like Magic Mountain, Disneyland, and others, and I enjoyed all of them. I am grateful for music where I can understand the songs and understand what they're singing. And we were lucky because we found station 105.9, the wave, 
and it has songs when I was growing up, when I was a high school student going on to college. So I really enjoy that station. I have neighbors who help, we help each other. We bring in our trash cans for one another if the other is not at home. And we get people's mail if they go on trips. The Windward Buddhist Temple Ohana has always supported and guided me. I would like to recognize a few of them today. Reverend Bert Sumikawa for his continuous guidance and support. Prudence and Ellen Kusano, who spend a lot of time at the temple to clean up as needed, preparing the temple for the virtual services, printing letters or information to members, and mailing them to those who do not have emails, and purchasing needed items, and other things that they feel need to be done. The men who clean the temple yard each month. Cynthia Rodriguez and the group that plans and selects money-making projects, such as the one at the Panda restaurant lately. Merle Tashiro for our monthly newsletter. Keiji Kukino and Dennis Tashiro for all that they do for our temple. Joy Nishida for her Zoom application for the Hompahongji Mission of Hawaii that was used by the virtual lake convention and workshops and our temple meetings. Ryan Miyamoto for working on our virtual Sunday services on YouTube every week. I would like to tell you what he has to do for the service that you see. He records our Reverend Sumikawa who rings the kansho, does the introduction, the program for that Sunday service, and the close at the end of the service. That, at a different time, and later, Ryan records the Dharma speaker for the day. Then he has to put everything together that you see on YouTube for that week. We have the A Taiko service every year. It is a memorial observation of those who came before us, our Sangha who helped to bring our temple to what it is today. It is also a teaching of interdependence from the immigrants who came from Japan to make a better life for their future children like you and me. It is also a time to reflect upon our lives and give thanks to all those who came before us. I am indebted and grateful to all the people I mentioned and others that I am dependent on for the life that I am enjoying. With the permission of Reverend Toshiyuki Umitani of Mo'ilili Honganji, I would like you to listen and read the words of the Gatha Ondokusan, Thankfulness sung by his daughter, Naho.
Please stay safe and healthy and take care. I would like to end with a Lakota American Indian prayer. Let us give thanks for this beautiful day. Let us give thanks for this life. Let us give thanks for the water without which life would not be possible. Let us give thanks for Grandmother Earth who protects and nourishes us. Namo Amidabutsu. The gatha for today is a lotus pure. And this is followed by the nembutsu. ship of the great compassionate vow, let pure Xinjing be the favorable wind, 
and in the dark night of ignorance, let the jewel of virtue be a great torch. Those whose minds are dark and whose understanding is deficient, endeavor in this way with reverence. Those whose evils are heavy and whose karmic obstructions are many, deeply revere this changing. Well, thank you everyone for attending this virtual Dharma service. I hope you will join us again next Sunday, the usual time at 9 a.m. In the meantime, please take care and have a happy holiday. Bye.